Welcome back to Sunless Skies. I don't actually know what we did last episode. I haven't played for about a week because I've been sick. So if you hear a bit of flemminess, a bit of a stuffy nose, that sort of thing, that's going to be why. Uh, I think my voice is good enough to record this game, though. We'll see. Even when my voice is perfectly fine, this game is just brutal on my voice because I just basically constant talking. Anyway, um, I don't know what we did last episode, but I do know that we're at Hybris, and I know that the next thing we're going to do is, well, I think figure out what's happened and what's happening on Hybris. We have weird mushrooms that we got from the, uh, we got from Madame Lumiere. We now know more about what's happened here because of what we learned at the Wreck of the Parzifal. We know a whole heck of a lot of things. Let's go. Um, I guess before we really do anything, let's have a little party in the fungal metal. F fungal metal? Fungal meadow? Yeah. R&R. &R, forge for mushrooms. Search for bronze wood. No, let's not. Let's just not go into the forest at all. At all. Just don't go there. There's a pillar of fungus out there. Let's just join the crew in their song. 38% terror, down to 33, good. I think we've done that before, so I'm not going to read that. Oh, there's a bazaar here still. New bargains, sold by who the heck knows what. Uh, apparently it's from the few captains that stop and huddle by the dock to trade and converse. Right, anyway, Hypers deserted. Colonists' houses are dark, and there's no sign of a soul about. I'm not going to scavenge. Search for a very large fungus. You've been told this will help you find the colonists. What are my chances? 100%. Good. Yeah, Madame Lumiere told you to look out for a fungus tower on Hybris. Oh, apparently I need to collect a sample of Hybris pus. You. Alright, sure. It oozes out of the fungal body just as it would an infected sore. <clears throat> Excuse me, infected sore. The difficulty in collecting samples isn't in having to climb to some remote peak or fighting off creatures who are all teeth and claws. It's in abiding the smell. I guess let's get a port report and see if the description's new. The station master professes ignorance. His manner is not improved in the absence of everyone else. There are new shades to the fungus. Indigo, violet, jet. The trees have taken on a new pallid hue. Spores cloud the air. The silence is almost restful. Wander or search for the large fungus? Let's wander first. Um, I think we've already seen this before. You spot old footprints heading towards the fungal forest, but nothing more. Alright. Let's go into the fungal forest. Fungal jungle, here we come. You and the pernickety factor hunt for several, several hours through the fungal forests, calling to each other in the marshy fog. The pernickety factor eventually retires to the Brendan for a restorative, leaving you to press on. You're just emerging from a promising bog when you spy a cloud of violet spores. It does not take long to locate the source, a wobbling tower of dripping purple mushroom. You have regrettably found a t towering pile of verdant fungus. Yeah, and given what we found at the wreck of the Parzifal and how the fungus seems to attract people and make people want to become part of it, and how people had become literally part of it. They were embedded in the fungus. I'm thinking that's maybe where all the villagers went. I think they might be in the fungus. I think they joined. Approach the fungus tower. It looms unhappily above you. In a certain light, it looks as though several smaller purple caps have fused together like a circle of dancers covered in aspic. You strike a match before the membrane of the mushroom cap. The air smells like burning oil. 
Shreds of tendrils smolder and writhe as the veil of the mushroom tower parts, unleashing spores that float lazily towards you. One changes course in the air to ensure it does not miss you. Changes course in the air to ensure it does not miss you. <laughs> Floating lazily, but laser pointed at me. I'm sure they're going to try to recruit me. I'll have to resist, which is probably going to take hearts, which Elizabeth is not too good at. Bring the spores away, or allow the spores to reach you, or let the spores land on the golden fungus. Yeah, that's right, I was given the golden fungus until that might help. I definitely don't want them to reach me, hell no. Let them land on the golden fungus. You draw out the oily caps of gold mushroom. Spores alight on it. For one brief moment, the gold is speckled with pinpoints of violet. Then the fungus in your hands erupts in a frenzy of tendrils which extrude towards the fungal tower and take root. Within a few minutes, the tower is entirely golden, the violet fungus having ceded to the aggressor. Beneath the newly golden skin, you can make out human shapes huddled together. The colonists have been thoroughly colonized. You found the colonists inside the fungus. Yep, that's exactly what I thought. Can we get them out? Can they live outside of the fungus now, or has it been too long, or what? So it's entirely golden. That's good. I mean, how do I know the golden fungus is any better? I don't know anything about it. Let's see. Conceal the truth from the pernickety factor or report your findings. Mm, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, report your findings to the pernickety factor. Pernickety factor looks up from her tea when you return to the Brendan. Didn't let it steep long enough, she sighs. Back to it. Her eyes widen when you explain that there's no need. She sits in silence for a long while when you finish. At what price, youth? I can't help but wonder if we're... She shakes her head. London looks after its servants. Should you need assistance in the future, I'll put in a word. She intends to remain on Hybris for a little longer yet and will not be departing with you. I've gained a cryptic benefactor. Is that the end of the whole thing? Because I was expecting it to be bigger. I wonder what would have happened if I just burned the fungus, or the spores away, rather. If I tried to, I don't know, talk to the thing or something. I feel like I should be able to do more. Yeah. So these oct octogenarians, was it? I think that's the term. They wanted youth, and they, now they have, I guess, eternal life, maybe, something. Yeah, looks like that's it. I'm not going to scavenge the abandoned settlements. Wow. I, I was expecting this to be some epic thing that would take up the entire episode. I'm, I'm really shocked. I felt like I've been building up to that for so long with all the stuff that we've learned from the incautious driver and the wreck of the Parsifal and all that stuff. Huh. I mean, we're not definitely not done with fungus stuff. We still have the incautious driver whose quest is taking us to Albion. Still need to find the errant spores. But I guess that's Hybris. All right, what now? It's almost time to go to Albion, actually, but not quite yet. There's one fairly big thing that I want to do here. I have a lot of business at the nature reserve. I have a bunch of research to turn in. I have the uh, the stuff that was held in, it was like held by customs, the thing to deliver that I got from the Albion relay. Why can't I, there we go. Yeah, got it from over there. 
some sort of cargo that I had to release. It was just being held. Um, and I also need to take a bunch of munitions to try to try to like go through the jungle and fight to get the researchers back who have like gone into the jungle for some reason and something's going on with that. I need to help out the researcher. So let's go back to New Winchester and get a bunch of munitions. Um, I think I'll go down here and stop at the circus on the way back. Well, that was rude. Should I take him out? Okay, yeah. Oh, ah, I pressed the wrong button. I pressed the dodge button instead of the loop button. Let's try to get some bronze wood. Failure. Got some splinters, though. There's another spinster up north there, but eh, I'll just leave it. Captain's cabin. Juicy gossip. Strip the engine for materials? Yeah, let's do that. Back up to full. Nice. What's going on down here? What are you shooting at? Choose a gossip. Yeah, who is down here? Tackety Scout, are you okay? You're not taken over by a guest or something, are you? The UCE all shall be well. Nope, they're fine. Just their usual erratic driving self. At the circus, got some new arrivals, listen to their stories, down to 39% terror. Do we have a port report? No. Get some free tickets. Got 23 tickets, that should be enough to get my terror all the way down. I should keep in mind that I'm gonna... My terror's gonna get reduced pretty majorly just by going back to New Winchester, so I don't actually need it to be zero. Um, I'll do this a couple times. Oops, I did a performance. That gives me... Oh, wow. Sky stories and a vision of the heavens. I have so many sky stories. 49. Yeah, 19%. That should go down to pretty close to zero when I go back to New Winchester. Don't remember exactly how much it reduces it by. No bargains. Let's turn in our port reports, and we should have enough to affect the balance of power. Techies are thriving. Oh, I'm actually down to two gratitude, so I won't be able to do this again. I'm at 191 reputation, beloved. Let's take care of business at New Winchester. So, <coughs> excuse me. I'm good on hull, I'm good on crew. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and sell my Reclaimed Marauder Amongadal. I've got one of those at some point. I don't actually remember getting it. Must have been in the previous episode. So I'm going to take seven munitions with me to the nature reserve. That should be more than enough. Also turns out I have 
Uh, I need to deliver five hours. Let's grab those from the bank. Oh, I only have four. You gotta be kidding me. I don't actually need to turn them all in. You get a bonus, and it's nice, but... Ah, uh, it's fine. It's very unsatisfying. Just to double check, you can't buy them from the market. No. What, what place exports souls? Or actually, ours, rather. It's Lustrum. Eh, that's pretty far out of the way. It's fine. I don't need to complete it. It's totally okay. So, gonna bring the munitions, gonna bring most of that prospect. I should buy a bunch of fuel and supplies. And, uh, I guess we're off. Yeah, to the nature reserve. Alright, we're at the nature reserve now. We got about a million things to do, so... Let's just start clicking around and see what we find. A hunting party, just explore on our own. That'll reduce our terror down to zero. <clears throat> Let's get a port report. Export Apollonian cinders, sure. Take those on board, don't actually take up any space. Deliver the previously impounded goods. Yeah, that's the thing we got from the Albion relay. There should be payment for delivering this. A researcher fetches a crowbar to open the crate. Finally! He extracts one of several bottles of mushroom wine. Do you have any idea what it's like being sober in this damned place? <laughs> Jeez. Okay. 200 sovereigns. Thanks. I was expecting it to be something actually important. Enjoy your mushroom wine. Converse with fellow captains. What does that do again? Uh, nothing, I guess. I've already done that. Oh, do they have any deals? All right, we got the prospect. Unfortunately, they don't have that ridiculous thing where they have a, a bargain where I can buy unseasoned hours and then sell them back to them for like three times the profit. That's a good amount of profit, though. Let's go to Capabilities Inquest. Yes. Um, I have a bunch of things to turn in. Let's hand in the wings of a Chorister B. <clears throat> I think I've already turned in most of these things before. 300 Sovereigns, 100 Experience. Oh, Ants from a Homestead. That's new. After all the trouble they cause... Af, af, what? After all they trouble they causes with your supplies, the researchers better be pleased. What in the hell is that sentence? After all they trouble they causes. After all the trou trouble they... What? I'm kind of fascinated by what happened with that sentence. Usually it's just like one word went wrong, right? So like, after all the trouble... That's how I try to autocorrect it. Like, oh, they, they said they instead of the. But no, you do that and it's still not right. After all, the trouble they causes? Uh, hmm. Anyway. Phlegmatic researcher thanks you and has them transported to his laboratory. Please do bring me more. So many other things I can try. Oh, that's just a generic description, isn't it? Yeah, okay. By the way, about the name, Phlegmatic Researcher, someone mentioned that I was mispronouncing it because Phlegmatic is, uh, like a, you know, a modified version of Phlegm, Phlegm, Phlegmatic, and they're saying that it's actually pronounced Phlegmatic, which makes sense coming from Phlegm, Phlegm, Phlegmatic, but I looked up the pronunciation of this and it seems like it is, or at least can be pronounced Phlegmatic. Um, yeah, the pronunciation I saw on, in the Oxford Dictionary, I think it was, was phlegmatic. Maybe it's a British pronunciation. Uh, maybe if it had an H here after the G, it would be phlegmatic. I'm not sure, but it is phlegmatic. And I have no idea why I defaulted to that pronunciation right off the bat. Maybe I've heard it before somewhere. I'm not sure. Anyway, this is extremely lucrative. 300 sovereigns each time. Hybris pus. It may take time for your hole to quit stinking, but at least now you can set the crew cleaning. <laughs> Fungal crinoline from a mushroom meteoroid. 
If the right Bohemians saw this, the fashion might be revived. Another 300 sovereigns. Yeah, this is actually kind of like making me ridiculously rich. Stomach of a Cantankery. Foul thing you've carried in your hold, it better be useful. That one was worth a little bit less. 250 sovereigns. Pen of a Scribe Spinster. I've done that before. That was 400 sovereigns? Jesus Christ. Ligaments of a Guest. The butchering was somewhat traumatic, but science must march on. 500 sovereigns? So you get more money for the harder they are. Hand in a mandrake from Trader's Wood? At last, you and your crew will be able to enjoy restful sleep again. Oh right, the mandrake is quite loud, isn't it? He hands you a purse while wincing, as if you can already imagine the sounds you'll have to tolerate. Oh, so there was a little bit of a unique description there. 300 sovereigns. Yeah, wow, that was like everything they could possibly want, actually. Except a sample of ice from Old Tom's Well, I guess. Or a titanium cutting. But it was everything other than those two. And now I have... Uh, let me get out of this menu so I can see how much money I have. Hmm. There we go, now I can look at it. Almost 6,000 coins! I just caught like 3,000 almost, I think. Wow, I feel seriously rich. Okay, um, I think we need to do the munitions thing now. Yep, secret initiative, head to their cabin. All his comrades took ills, attempting to uncover why. Yes, I know you're disappointed. Oh, right, we don't have to start that thing by going to the Phlegmatic Researcher anymore. We just need to actually go do the thing in... Albert's Idol, maybe? Into the Reserve, I think it is. Yes, head deep into the Reserve. That's what takes the carefully packed munitions. And if you fail, which I did last time, it eats up one of them. Let's go. Right, so I had a terrible chance because it took hearts. 45% chance. Failure again. Ha! Huh. A hideous smell permeates the air, when powerful enough to knock a weaker spirited captain down. As you pass a human shaped fungal lump, it's hard not, not to consider that may be exactly what has happened. When you finally reach the other side, it's some time before you recover from the olfactory bombardment. Your map directs you to a cliffside which towers above you. Oh, right. The phlegmatic researcher gave us like a really, really hastily scrawled map. <laughs> so all the different things we have to pass through are going to take different skills. And each one of them takes munitions. Oh man, maybe I should have brought more than six. Uh, well, as long as I don't use hearts again, I think I'll be fine. Pass through the cave. Oh, actually, this first. There are no other people here. It's just you and the birds and flowers. Trees and woodland creatures. Streams and bumbling insects. Any evils are insidious. Be on your guard. Pass through the cave. The cliffs are colored like a mixing palette. There's a small cave opening. The map indicates you should travel through. Also on the map, circled and in red, is no light. Well, my veils is amazing. 100% chance of success. It's as dark as unconsciousness. Progress requires focus. Hand on the wall, one step at a time. The walk takes some hours to complete, but you make it to the tunnel's end, and light. Before you lies a valley. Takes iron, 88% chance, good. Your trail ends in the heart of the valley. The phlegmatic researcher traced the source of his colleague's illness to here. It's a steep climb down to it. The climb is unpleasant, but it is at least invigorating. The wind whips by as you find crevices and holes on the verdant rock. The sun beams warmly as you negotiate between barbed roots and slippery lichens. Eventually you make it down. 
You travel inward until you come to an area cordoned off with thick rope and small cloth flags. You conceal yourself in the underbrush and observe the masked industrial workers of Ledbetter and Stainrod harvesting distinctive-looking flowers. You take one for yourself and fight your way back through the reserve with significantly less difficulty than it took to get here. They're all harvesting distinctive-looking flowers. I assume they've all been taken over by the fungus, and that's something that the fungus wants, the flowers. <coughs> Excuse me. Hand over the flower. Tell him what you found in the valley. The researcher digs his finger into the petals and draws it out. It's coated with yellow pollen. This is what they use for Apollonian cinders, he whispers, sniffing gently. He coughs violently. I feel... Oh, goodness. Goodness. This is it. The cinders. This is what's driven their passions mad. Driven my friends to ruin. And now the company is pushing it onto the Empire. He leans over and grabs a tall stack of papers. He dips his pen in ink and begins writing. I'll see that they know the truth. I hope I can call on you. It uh, strikes me that I've been delivering some Apollonian cinders. Maybe I should stop doing that. <laughs> 900 experience, another cryptic benefactor. The researchers crusade. They're on a crusade against the Apollonian cinders. Well, I'll help you. Distribute anti-cinder propaganda. <laughs> Hell yeah. Research has written many, many, many pamphlets. He mops his brow. The rag is ink-stained and darkens his forehead. Here's the current stack, he says. Take them to New Winchester. The people must know. Right, was there anything else to do here? Is the ornithologist still here? Yeah. Uh, well, don't really want to ask about anything. What is doing a quick trip to write some sky stories? Yeah, I think we just need to go back to New Winchester now. I guess I should buy all the caddies of tea? Absolutely. We're good on supplies. Yeah, okay, meet you back at New Winchester. We've arrived back at New Winchester. Uh, one thing I want to do before I forget... Uh, I want to get rid of the Nature Reserve Prospect, since I only need to deliver one more. Uh, and I doubt I'm going back there, or even if I am, I'm probably not going back there with... with, uh, unseasoned hours. So I, I just want to get rid of this. Let's dump off some stuff in the bank. Alright, we need to distribute some propaganda, right? Deliver pamphlets about the dangers of Apollonian cinders. Drop them off in the square. Post them up in the boulevards. The people must know. Your public campaign creates quite a stir. The temperance campaigners who already worked in force are very quick to adopt all your talking points. The cinders transform all goodness into vice. They overheat the brain. They kill you with what you love. One campaigner anxious to support your good work presses a small purse into your hand. Oh. Thanks. You've delivered the propaganda as the researcher requested. Return to him for more. Maybe we will be going back there. Like, is this just... This sounds like it's another renewable quest like the research, where you just bring him more stuff or deliver more stuff, rather than, like, a you know, do a couple distinct quests and then you come to some sort of a conclusion? Nature Reserve seems like a really good place to make a crap ton of money with all that research stuff. My god. If I realized how lucrative and how renewable those research tasks were early on, I could have so much money by now. Look at how beautiful this map is. All explored. All explored. I've explored all of the reach. 
So yes, I could go back to the nature reserve, see if that quest goes anywhere. There's a couple other small things we could do around here, but I think it's finally time I go to Albion. I mean, it's not like we're going to be leaving the reach forever. So even if I miss something and want to come back to do it, it's no problem. And I've been told that some quests will take me back here to the reach anyway, so it's not like I'm not going to have any reason to come back here other than trying to tie up loose ends. There's also new stuff I'll get that's relevant to the reach. So what the heck do I take with me to Albion? Like, <clears throat> how? I, I, I just don't know. Where is the relay going to come out on the other side? Is it going to be right next to a town? Like, this one is right next to Port Prosper. Is it going to be right next to a port, so I don't need to worry about supplies? Is it going to be out in the middle of nowhere, like this one to Eleutheria? I mean, Albion is the home of London, so it's it's probably going to be... It's probably going to have a port around it, you know? I don't think it's going to be too wild of a land. Nonetheless, it doesn't hurt to bring as much as I can, right? Well, I can restock on fuel and supplies when I get to Port Prosper, so I don't actually even need to worry about those too much at the moment. I think I have a prospect for Port Prosper. Yeah, souls. Three consignments of souls. I probably have those. I do. I don't need to bring anything else, right? I don't think. I don't know, I'm just scared that I'm going to forget something and I'm going to be stranded out there. But I don't think Albion, I'm, like, I'm pretty sure Albion didn't say the same thing that Eleutheria did, where, where if you go through there, you can't return for a while. I think I could just come right back to the Reach if I didn't like what I saw in Albion. Maybe. Uh, just to be a little bit cautious, I'm going to bring uh, some tea. That seems to be helpful for, like, lubricating some wheels when talking with people. As, like, a bribe or something, you know? I'll bring a couple of those, a couple caddies of tea. Yeah. Alright, let's go. To Port Prosper. 